Welcome back guys for another episode with Urban Timber. Follow along as I walk you through how to dimension lumber and glue up a dining room tabletop. After selecting my boards and getting them to a consistent rough length, I then take them to the jointer to flatten one face. With one face flat, I can then send them through the planer to create a parallel face, resulting in two dead flat surfaces. Next, it's back to the joiner. Here we're making one edge 90 degrees to the face. If your board is crowned, you want to make sure that the crown is up, resulting in two points of contact on the jointer bed. After a few passes, it's off to the table saw. With the freshly jointed edge up against the fence, I maximize each board's width while ripping off the rough sawn edge. Once this step is complete, you have what's known as S4S lumber, or surfaced four sides. Now I like to take my material back to the jointer and make one light pass on each edge, removing any mill marks the table saw might have left behind. This will give me a much tighter seam on the surface of my top. Once you've run all your parts through, it's time to lay them out, how you want to see your top. There's no right or wrong here. Sometimes it takes a few adjustments before you're finally happy with it. This is where it really is a handicap if you're indecisive. With a couple of clamps on it, I then roughly lay out the overall top. This gives me a good idea where I can place my dominoes. In this case, I'm using dominoes purely for alignment. They ensure that I have an even surface on my top. All the strength is coming from the long grain to long grain joint. The wood will actually fail before a proper glue joint. It's now time to get these in the clamps. I like to do these size glue ups on the floor. I lay out a few clamps on the concrete and then lay my boards down and turn them on edge. Using tight bond three, I put down an even amount of glue on each edge and spread it out with a brush. Tight bond three gives me a little more working time. So you can see how that can help in a glue up of this size. After lightly snugging up my bottom clamps, I then bring in my top clamps. Once these are snug, I go back and forth, tightening all my clamps. Trying to keep pressure even, not flexing the top, this will result in a much flatter surface. If you guys like this video, let us know. Comment below what other how-to processes you would like to see, and I'll catch you guys next week here at Urban Timber.